Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's time for another Nocturnal Review, and this time around, we are going back to Fair Street once again. So, um, if you remember last time I did a review on the uh, new Fair Street Part 1, 1994, this time around I am doing Part 2, which just came out uh, yesterday, and I'm not pre-filming this, and I'm not in a tank top. I'm in a t-shirt, Tetris t-shirt, to be exact. Um, so, that's nice for me to not be in tank top this time around. Um, but anyway, yesterday came out with, um, I'm not really liking this angle that I am at, but I can't do much about it right here, so I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so, yesterday, uh, they came out with part two, 1978, which, um, was very good. I liked it actually better than part one. So let's give it a little uh, synopsis here without any spoilers, or if there are any, they're very minor, so don't worry. So, um, the characters of Brina and Josh have taken the recently possessed Sam to see, um, see Burnham, who was at Camp Nightwing in 1978, where her sister died. So, they take her there, trying to figure out how they can stop the curse, how they can stop Sarah Fear, who is killed as a witch. Well, she's not too thrilled about, you know, them, you know, coming to her house and also bringing the possessed Sarah, uh, not Sarah, sorry, the possessed Sam there. And if I accidentally said a different name earlier, I meant to say Sam. I'm so sorry about that. So, she tells them the story of what happened in 1978 at Camp Nightwing, where we we have um, both Shady Siders and Sunny Veilers. And a series of murders, a massacre happens at the hands of the witch. So, that's kind of an overview of what the film is about. Like I said, I liked this one better. Um, than the first one. I liked the first one, it's just I liked this one a little better, and I kind of thought I would. It is, I think, a little gorier. Not necessarily scarier. It's a little freakier in some ways. Um, of course, I don't think that either part is scary. Of course, the first one was very reminiscent of, you know, it's the slasher genre in general, and kind of Scream-like, and I don't think Scream is scary. I love Scream, but I don't think Scream is scary, but I do enjoy it. Um, and this one is very reminiscent of, like, Friday the 13th, which came out in 1980 and not 1978. But still, there are a lot of Easter eggs to, uh, classic horror films. And this film has a great soundtrack. I love the soundtrack to it. But we have Easter eggs from Friday the 13th, Carrie... I'm pretty sure there is at least one from Halloween, depending upon how you look at it. I kind of view it as, you know, it's a reference to, to Halloween, and, of course, Halloween came out in 1978 which is my favorite slasher film. Um, <clears throat> and there, I think this one might be a little gory, like I said, and also, it's a little more explicit. There is some more explicit uh, activity. This one doesn't really take place in Shadyside, you know, the exact town, because they're at a camp that's kind of outside, but we do get a location that we're going to obviously be getting in part 3, 1666, as we see the origin and hopefully see them, you know, solve and fix this. They are getting closer in this one, and there are more clues and stuff and more answers, but we're still waiting on, you know, the final answers, you know, which we'll get in 1666, which comes out next week on Friday the 16th? Yeah. That's ironic. 1666, 16, 16, so. Anyway, I am greatly looking forward to it. Like I said, I'm still a novice. I haven't been able to read any First Street books yet, but I I do want to read some. I have, like, you know, like I said, the Goodnight Kiss books one and two. They're super chillers. I have the three, the original three uh, cheerleader books. And I have now one called Double Date, which I found when I was uh, out of town for a pretty good price. It was brand, it was a, it's a reproduction, it's a brand new uh, reproduction of, I think it was Double Date, which sounded interesting. <clears throat> so, we'll see. 
tell them when I'll get to those. I will, and I'll probably do reviews. I actually just finished my summer read last night, um, after I finished watching Fear Street, because I watched that before I went to work <laughs> in the morning, and then I finished the last 17 minutes after I got home, so. I highly recommend it. If you haven't watched it, you know, please do uh, watch Fear Street. It's awesome. It's on Netflix. Um, also, I do want to note, and I've heard this from other people who are Fear Street fans who have read the books, where I have not, um, which I, I could tell you a story how I know about Fear Street besides this, but I'll save that maybe for next time is that, um, they never mentioned the street at all, so, I kind of wonder if they're going to do more Fear Street movies in the future, maybe, I don't know, it'd be nice if they did, and maybe set it on the street, and, you know, on the actual Fear Street, and, and Shady Side, and also, um, maybe do some of the, more, more of the book, you know, more centralized plots from books, you know, like, they could do the cheerleaders or something, you know, they could do that storyline. They could even update it if they wanted to. Who knows? But, you know. Anyway. That's my review. I'll see you next time. I'm actually hoping to do an actual book review, which, I mean, this is kind of a booktube-related thing, because Three Street's a book series, and this is a film trilogy based on the Three Street books. So, But I will have a book review for you maybe by the middle of the week, so I will actually break my Saturday thing, which I said I might have an occasional, like, Wednesday video, so there might be one. I'll probably film it ahead of time and have it set to come out on Wednesday, so I will see you then. Stay safe, stay cool, um, and, you know, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.